So a lot of times when an officer shows up on a call, they are dealing with someone who is displaying an emotion. That emotion could be frustration, it could be anger, it can be sadness, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you can remember three key phrases, it will allow you to talk while under stress. Because a lot of times that's when we have our problems. As an officer, we have a, a difficulty of being able to process what we're seeing and formulate what to say at the same time, which is normal. So remember three key phrases. It looks like, it seems like, and it sounds like. And then fill in the blank with the emotion that you're seeing right in front of your own eyes. You show up on a call, there's an individual that is angry based on what you're seeing. He looks angry. So instead of trying to get caught up in wordplay and thus not being able to effectively de-escalate, just say, hey, it looks like you're angry. And the great news is after you say that, close your mouth, let them talk. Or maybe say, hey, it seems like you're frustrated right now. And close your mouth and allow them to talk. Now I ran across these uh, three phrases whenever I was reading Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Very good book, worth every penny. If you got a PhD, you will probably already know that this is effect labeling. Uh, we've been doing that uh, for quite some time in the medical field, but in law enforcement, we've not been practicing that. So the good news is these three phrases is an actual way to scientifically prove uh, through peer review research and from a international FBI uh, negotiator that this is proven to de-escalate a situation if the person wants to be de-escalated. You're actually causing them to activate a portion of their brain that deals with making rational decisions. The point is, when someone is displaying an emotion, you don't want to make them feel like they have to justify why they feel the way they feel. Uh, how many times have we been upset ourselves? And of course, we feel like we're justified in being upset, but after it's all said and done, we realize that we were overreacting. That's why this works. Show up on a call, maybe the, maybe the customer's getting into an argument with the manager at, the, at a convenience store, and they're in a debate over a dollar, whether he's owed a dollar. How many times have we been on that type of call? When you show up, the you know, last thing you want to say is, hey, man, you need to be quiet. You need to calm down. Oh, this is a civil matter. There's nothing we can do. You've just dismissed that individual. You're not de-escalating the situation. If you want to de-escalate, you can always look at the individual and say, hey, sir, it really sounds like you're upset. Can you tell me some more? Identify the emotion that you're seeing in front of you and then close your mouth. You'll find out that this is an effective technique to allow someone to de-escalate and bring them about maybe think a little bit more clear. It will also give you an opportunity to close your mouth and then process on what you're seeing and you can absorb more information that way. We have a hard time talking and doing it at the same time. So this kind of allows you to flip the switch between the two. If you want to learn more about this process, you can always, of course, uh, buy the book. Uh, great book, Chris Voss, awesome uh, author. Or you can attend one of the de-escalation courses that is being provided across North Carolina.